Hi, I'm Dr. Kimball Thomas, Director of Community Services here for the City of Tallahassee. I'd like to introduce you to our program I'm the founder of called TEMPO. TEMPO stands for Tallahassee Engaged and Meaningful Productivity for Opportunity Youth. These are ages 16 to 24 year olds who are out of school and unemployed. This program started in October 2017 with one applicant. To date, we have over 1,000 participants who have re-engaged themselves in education, civics, trade school, and job opportunities within our community. I want to thank you for being involved in supporting them throughout this community through all our business partners. And also remind you again that Tempo is making a difference in your community. So welcome to the Tempo 2020 Cohort 3 graduation ceremony service that you'll be viewing shortly. And with that being said, now let me introduce you to our city leadership, starting with Mayor Daly. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Daly. I'm your mayor of the city of Tallahassee. And I just want to take a second to congratulate you on graduating from the Tempo program. At the beginning of this journey, you made a decision that you wanted to make a positive impact in your life. But the truth is, Tempo is bigger than any one person. You're also making a positive impact in our community. Who knows what the future has in store for you? Many of you are heading in different directions and it's all exciting. I just want to take a second and say congratulations. Thank you for being a part of the Tempo program. Thank you for making Tallahassee the beautiful city that it is. I am Mayor Pro Tem Diane Williams Cox and I'm here to say congratulations, you did it. Thank you for the effort that you put in to make sure that you have a successful future. We are so happy that we were able to be a small part of that. We're looking forward to the great things that you'll be doing in our community. If there's ever anything we can do to assist you, don't hesitate to let us know. We are so proud of you. Now go into the world and make your mark. We're looking forward to hearing great things from you. And thank you for being a blessing to your family because I know they too are so very proud of you, just as your city of Tallahassee family is. God bless you and go do it. Hello, I'm City Commissioner Curtis Richardson, and I want to congratulate the June 2020 graduates of the City of Tallahassee Tempo Program. I want to congratulate you on achieving this very important milestone in your life, obtaining your high school diploma. By having that diploma, it opens up a world of opportunity for you now that you never might have imagined years ago when you left school without that diploma. Whether you decide to go to college, uh, attend lively and obtain a vocational or career certificate, or go directly into the workforce, your life is gonna be much brighter now that you've accomplished this goal. I wanna thank Dr. Thomas and his staff for all the work that they have done to get you to this point in life. I congratulate you. I thank your parents, your family, your supporters, because without them, you wouldn't have been able to make it this far. Congratulations, and I wish all the best for you in the future and the days to come. This is Commissioner Elaine Bryant, and it is my pleasure to congratulate the graduates of our Tempo program. As we understand, there are 34 graduates, and of those 34 graduates, we have many who are going to TCC. We have some who are entering the military, and then we also have some that are going into a trade. This is the beginning of a new era for your life, and I just want to congratulate you and offer you as a senior leader in our city. I want to say to each of you, the best is yet to come. Congratulations again. Hi, I'm City Manager Reese Gode, and I want to congratulate each of you on your accomplishment. You've worked so hard to get to where you are. I'm proud of the work that Dr. Kimball Thomas has done, but I'm most proud of you. What has taken sacrifice and dedication on your part to get to a great place. And I see that each of you are gonna continue either your education or serve our military. And that makes me so proud. I wish you the best of luck and congratulations. Hello, I'm Cynthia Barber, your Deputy City Manager. Congratulations to each of you for receiving your GED through the Tempo program. Words cannot adequately express how proud I am of you. I want you to see your GED as a beginning, not an end. It is the beginning to opportunities for enhanced employment and higher education. If you're wondering whether your GED matters, I'm here to tell you that it does. And again, congratulations on achieving your GED through the Tempo program. 
now that you've heard from city leadership, this program would not be possible without our student participants. Many of them would like to share their stories directly with you. So now, let's hear from our students. Hi, my name is Dequan Reigns, and I would like to thank the Temple Program for being a big sponsor. Because when I first started my GED process, it was hard. And with their help, I was able to finish strong and do what I needed to do. Um, also, I would like to thank my parents, my, my church family, and also God for being a real motivator in my life. Hi, I'm Braxton Dean. I would like to thank the Tempo program for helping me out this year. And I would like to thank my mother and Miss Young and Miss Williams for helping me out this year. My name is Nicholas Gaiman Williams, and I w went to the Tempo program to get my GED. It helped me get through my courses and prepared me for my upcoming goals to get into college. And I want to be a game designer, and I got help from ACE and Tempo to get my GED and graduate today. Hi, I'm Guy Jalen. I'd like to give a special thanks to the Tempo program for helping me through this and giving me a great chance to finish my schooling again. And I'd like to give a special thanks to my aunts and my family members who supported me through all this. Hello, my name is Eris Lackney, and I was part of the Tempo program, and it helped me a lot, you know. The affordability, you know, they help pay for a, a lot of what you were going through. You know, the school program's amazing. Teachers are amazing. And the, my experience completely was awesome. You know, they helped me through everything. When I dropped out of school, it was I was going through a lot, in, you know, in life. And, you know, they helped me get back on my feet. Now I can go to college, you know, get a better job than what I'm working now. And so I just want to thank the Tempo program for that, you know, helping me get my life together. Oh, I want to thank my mother, my sister, my sisters, and I want to thank my nieces and nephews for helping me get my life together. Hi, I'm Jonas Gavin. I would like to thank the Temple Program for assisting me with getting my GED. I would also like to thank my friends and my family, and most of all, Mr. Williams, my teacher, and that's all. That's all I have to say. Hi, my name is Brendan. I'd like to thank the people at the Tempo Program and the Tempo Program itself, my mother, my father, and everything that they've helped me out with with my GED. Hi, I'm Tatiana Sanders, and I would just like to thank the Tempo Program for helping with me get my GED, and I would like to thank my family for supporting. Hi, my name is Donnell Brown, and I would like to thank the Tempo Program for giving me another shot at life. I would also like to thank my family, because they supported me on the way here. It was a long journey. It wasn't easy. I had to keep pushing. It, yeah. My name's Max Wentworth, and I just graduated. I would like to thank the Tempo program and ACE for helping me get my GED and helping me become a graduated man and get a job. It's a better life, better than high school. The Tempo program helps everyone that's there. I encourage kids that aren't doing well in school to check it out and see what it's all about. It'll help you out. Thank you. Now more about our students. This is the largest cohort graduation class that we've had so far since the inception of this program. 34 of these students will be moving on to higher education, trade school, and or better job opportunities. This is not possible without dedicated staff. We have Temple staff, we have a Temple coordinator, we have case managers that assist them along the way through the seven phases of case management, continuing having conversation with them and making sure that they'll stay on the right track. And now with that being said, I'd like to introduce you to the Temple staff. Hi. My name is Ariel McPherson. I'm the Youth Services Coordinator with the City of Tallahassee Tempo Program. I would like to say that I'm very proud of each graduate that's graduating today. They all have something to be very proud of, given that each one will now be able to have more means to be able to take care of themselves, their families, as well as make a, more of a difference in the community. First of all, like I said, congratulations to all the graduates of this term. It's job well done. It was a great adventure. I was glad to be a part of it. And when you look at a position of this nature, you look at it and say, you're not doing it for the income, but it's the outcome. And just great accomplishment. And we look forward to continuing your education or whatever your goals and dreams are. Hi, I'm Darren McGlamory, Human Services Analyst with the City of Tallahassee. I am pleased to announce our new curriculum, Financial Literacy. The name of the class is Basic Money Management. What basic money management does is teach our students the importance of balancing the checkbook, paying bills, 
and the importance of a good credit rating. Uh, once students graduate from this class, they will have good knowledge of the basic money management skills they need in life. Congratulations, recent grads. We are so proud of you for making this milestone, and we are looking forward to be a part of your future endeavors. So keep up the good work, keep tempo in mind when you are making those next steps, and we would love to be a part of it. So um, we want to thank you and your family for allowing us to be a part of your process. Without you, the Tempo program would not be what it is. So we want to say thank you again and congratulations. Now I'd like to make some introductory comments about our speaker for this evening. Dr. Andrew Jones, math professor at Florida a and University. Dr. Jones will share his unique story. His story is much like our participants' stories. Dr. Jones himself was faced with some obstacles in life that many people did not have hope and belief that he could overcome, but he did. Dr. Jones will share with you how he went from a GED to a PhD. Dr. Jones will also share how many times he was turned away and dropped out of school, but did not give up because he had someone or something in his life that continued to push him forward. I would not steal all his thunder. Dr. Jones is very well in, in telling his story, but his story is much like our participants' stories. And it's a story that you do not want to miss. With further ado, Dr. Andrew Jones. I grew up in a strange land called Black America. I was also educated in Black America. In the third grade, I recall the teacher saying negative three times negative five equal positive 15 because the product of two negatives was positive. I raised my hand and asked the obvious question. I said, two wrongs don't make a right. Why should I believe that two negatives are positive? She said, because it's a mathematical fact. I said, I didn't believe it. She said, you have to believe it. It's a mathematical fact. So I did my mathematics according to my beliefs. And at the end of the third grade, I got out. In upper elementary school, I was placed in EMR, Educated and Mentally Retarded classes. Almost all of my grades were C's, D's, and F's. And in mathematics, I didn't even make a D minus. When I was 16, I was told I was not college material, so I could not take college prep courses. So I got up and dropped out of high school. I went to Cleveland State University as a dual enrolled student. I took the physics and chemistry that held my curiosity for years. At this point, I didn't know arithmetic or its role in the sciences. Consequently, I looked down at books and saw frustration. I looked up at the females and saw fun, so I made the logical choice. I chose fun over frustration. I had a child when I was 17 years old. I failed the math, physics, and chemistry typically taken by freshmen who major in science. At the end of my fourth quarter, I was academically dismissed with a 0.6 GPA. As a citizen of black America, everyone looked at me and blamed me for a lack of discipline. As a black American, I looked in the mirror and blamed myself. The next year was full of events that were more miraculous than planned. I took the GED, General Education Diploma, and discovered that I did not know basic math. I began to secretly study arithmetic at night, look for a job during the day, and I slept in the early evening. My sister's friend introduced me to the head tutor, Michael James, at Cuyahoga Community College. I told Mr. James, I hate math because it doesn't make any sense. First, you have to memorize all these steps. You got 10 steps in a problem, and you only get two of them wrong. Common sense tells you you should get 80% or a B. But no. You get now. See, obviously, math teachers don't know mathematics. Mr. James re responded, nah, bro, it ain't like that. When you play basketball, you don't think about the steps. You get the ball in the hole any way you want to. You keep getting the whistle blown on you in mathematics because you don't know the rules of the game. In mathematics, the rules of the game are called axioms. And they're just 10 axioms. He said, take these 10 axioms, you go home and learn them, come back and see me tomorrow, 
and I'm going to show you how to play the game of mathematics, making it up as you go along. Over the next several weeks, I worked with Mr. James. I learned how to make up mathematics. When I proved that negative A times negative B equals AB, so the product of two negative numbers is positive, I stopped hating mathematics. After a nine month absence from Cleveland State, I returned to challenge the subjects that led to my dismissal. This time I was prepared. So this time I looked down at my books and saw progress. I looked up at the females and saw her. Again, I made the logical choice. I chose progress over fun. After So I met the challenge at Cleveland State with excellence. After completing my bachelor's of science, I enrolled in a graduate program at Cleveland State as a research assistant. I did not receive my pay for the graduate experience for four months. With the need to support my wife and newborn son, I worked our jobs and had little time for studying. At the end of my six months, I was academically dismissed from graduate school. I went on to Duke University. There I completed the sophomore, junior, and senior courses required for the Bachelor's of Arts in Physics. I earned a Master's of Arts in Pure Mathematics. I took my oral qualifying exam. After drilling, drilling me for over two hours, the committee said, you got every question right, but we didn't ask you hard enough questions. After you find an advisor, we'll give you another exam but no one in the department would be my dissertation advisor. And after three years, I was kicked out of school for the fourth time. After working at UNC Chapel Hill and Morehouse College for three years, I went back to school at Brown University. I completed the Master's of Science in Mechanical Engineering and a PhD in Applied Mathematics. In summary, I got kicked out of school four times I got up five times and I earned five degrees. I went on to be promoted from lecturer to instructor, from instructor to assistant professor, from assistant professor to associate professor, and from associate professor to full professor of mathematics at Florida a and University. So like you, I got knocked down. And like you, I got up. You were pushed down by the wretched habits of the wrong crowd you got up. You tripped over and were entangled by a teenage pregnancy, but you got up and picked up your baby and carried them. You were knocked down by racism and education, but you got up and got your diploma. You were told you should not when you should. You were told you could not when you could. You were told you would not, but you did. Unlike many young people, you have demonstrated to the world that when you get knocked down, you can get up. You have told yourself and the world that long is not endless, that difficult is not impossible, and for you, down is never, ever out for the count. Class of 2020, give yourself a round of applause. The head that has been abashed is still unbowed. You have always and will always get up. I conclude with words inspired by my late father. If you do only what you are capable of, you will never extend your ability. If you reach only for what you know is there, you will never find what is undiscovered. So go on trying what you can or cannot do. Reaching for what may or may not be there. Remember, if you find the thought that is everlasting, you have found the immortality of the mind. You may now turn your tassel, get up, and move on. And now, announcing the Class of 2020 Cohort 3 Tempo Graduate Class. Tamia Adams. Gage Allen. Jablissa Anderson. 
Kamari Baker, Danelle Brown, Alexander Buchanan, Isaiah Clark, Jamerica Crooms, Jamel Cunningham, Braxton Dean, Kiara Edwards, Jonas Gavin, Greg Gonzalez, Bryce Green, Isabel Hundiak, Anthony Huntsinger, Raymond Jackson, Jaden Johnson, Zachary Kamini, Aries Lackman, Javari Marshall, Brandon Noble, Dominic Parker, Daquan Reigns, Juliana Rubio, Tatiana Sanders, Alexis Scar, Sean Scott, Demaya Taylor, Tyler Thornton, Maxwell Wentworth, Jakari Wesley, Devaris Weston, Nicholas Williams. Wow, wasn't that exciting? Did you not see the elation? Did you not see the hope? Did you not see the opportunities for our youth as we went through this program? I want to thank all of you again for viewing this today. But I also want to remind you again that we're not stopping here. We're picking up the tempo, as Deputy City Manager Cynthia Barber would tell me. And we're going to continue to expand this program as we go into 2021. We will engage more youth. We will create more opportunities. We will continue to enhance the impact on poverty, public safety, and education and career opportunities through this program. Thank you for viewing today. Thank you for the leadership that we have with the city of Tallahassee and for all the support we get from the community. 